Hello everyone I hope you all are doing good I am Pratesh from Sales Handy and today we're going to talk about how we can make an effective leads list using apollo.io as apollo is one of the most popular email databases among the people who do lead generation using cold emails well if you don't want to jump on the paid subscription for apollo so you can just sign up and see how the filters work and whether it caters to your needs you have to go through among various databases before starting out uh, to see what works for you So let's just jump on the search here, and we have two options available. One is the people, and another is the companies. So we're just going to use the people search today. Well, you can see there are two parts. Uh, the first one is the column here in the left side, where you can see there are different filters, and on the right side you can see there is a big space uh, where it would appear all the leads information, right? So as we keep on filtering this number here. uh it would just get narrowed down and we would have a highly personalized and targeted list at the end of this video so let's just start over here the first one is the list well list is the collection of all the leads that we filter out from apollo we can just save them in different list under different titles name for better organizations so right now we don't need it so let's just go on the second one persona well persona is the predefined set of templates or the settings that you can do in apollo and you don't have to start everything from scratch the filters that you apply here you can just save them as persona and every time you visit apollo you can just uh, revisit your whole settings of here so you don't have to pick it from beginning the third one is name this filter is not not much useful for us because uh, you have to search the prospect by name particularly so in this case we are not going to we are, we are not going to use this the fourth one is the job title well this is the most important filter because our whole buyer persona primarily relies on the job titles here so this is one of the most important filters that we're going to use today so let's just put some keywords like uh, sales enter it and then marketing so we want that our job title search contains these two keywords uh, in the job titles right if you want to exclude any of the things uh, you can just use this uh, customized checkbox here and you can as add your keyword which you don't want uh, apollo to show results for okay so this is how you can customize your whole search as as we move down from job title we can see well uh, one one more thing that's important in job title is the boolean search well boolean search allows you to put conditions over here and you can highly customize your search by using boolean operators like and and or uh, you can include various conditions and exclude so this is a very great option if you want to customize your search over here moving ahead after job titles we have company well if you want any particular company to include in your search you can just use as any of or on the other hand if you want to remove or exclude any of the company from the search you just can use is not any of right so this way you can just include or remove any of the company particularly that you want in your list or you don't want on list using this filter location is a filter that allows you to customize our search or narrow down more according to the location so let me just put in united states over here and not only country wise we can also do it like continent wise like we can also put in europe maybe south africa and many more so right now i'm just going to do it by a city uh, let's just do it on illinois quick for illinois us So you can see the list has already got uh, already went down to 3.3 million right as we keep on doing this we would have a highly targeted list so <clears throat> let's just filter out on the basis of the employees so we want to target the companies uh, whose employee range is between 11 to 20 so let's just choose 11 to 20 we're going to target a small level companies over there so let's move on to the next filter after the employees it's industries and keyword after job titles is uh it's it's one of the most important keywords or the filter that we need because we need to tar target the people for the job title in a particular industry right or in a broad sector so let's just choose something like uh internet maybe technology yeah we have information technology and services well apollo gives you a very broad titles of industry so if you want to target in a niche you can just use the keywords over here it's called company keywords like if you want to target some people for mobile development or who want mobile development right or mobile app development kind of thing so we can just include the keywords over here 
and yeah this is working this way you can include many more keywords and make your list much more targeted and uh, specialized or personalized right after this what we have is to use the buying intent well this is a new thing that is very uh, useful well if you want to search that how your uh, uh, prospect search your services over the web or how is the intent working you just you can just use this filter over here email status well at the end of uh, extraction we always verify the list so it's not very important that we uh, only extract the verified leads from Apollo because this feature is not very uh, effective but we can just select it verified we can use guests and we can just do it for new available right and we can just move ahead after this we can search or we can filter our search based on the technologies like if you want to target the people who use certain technologies or CRMs, like if I want to search for the people who use HubSpot as the CRM or marketing automation. So let us see if it works. And yeah, it's work. It's only 10 people over there uh, who are working on HubSpot. So it will give you a much more targeted list if you use technologies as a filter and it would increase your chances of getting a response over here. Ultimately, we are left with two more filters. One is the revenue and another one is the funding. Apollo is not very accurate about the revenue and funding data. So if you are into the niche of SaaS or startup or you want to target some funding companies, right? So you can just use Crunchbase because it's one of the good resources that you can use if you are uh, doing lead generation in that niche. So now our list is ready. We have 50 people in our list. So let's just see how we can save it in Apollo. Well, my plan lets me select 100 people per page, uh, but it would differ according to your plan. I, I think for the basic plan, it's 25. So let's just select the people in our list and save it in new list. Let's name it as IT US 1150. So it's safe now. Now, if you want to export the data, we just need to go into the list and select the list over here. We need to select it again and I want to select all 50 people over here and I want to choose only one people from one company so apply the selection and just click the export you have to choose export all email selection over here because we will verify the data uh, with a verified tool so this feature is not much useful for us so let's just start export and this way you get a CSV from Apollo download it and you can just upload it into sales and directly or maybe you can just use Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet to upload the data so this is how you can make a very really highly uh, targeted and narrowed down list for getting a high response using Apollo to type if you have any questions you can just visit the FAQs or you can just reach us for more suggestions thank you and have a nice day